okay for this particular session (uh) as usual alright I have started my web boot and I have also log in alright so do a proper log in first I did start the OAP ZEP at the back but actually [eh] I don't actually need it for this particular lab now we are at this vulnerable component alright (uh) and in the front you will notice that there is actually quite a number of pages of read up (uh) for page three they are still referring to the two thousand thirteen OAP top ten (uh) there is actually a later release alright so I will do suggest to read up on the new top ten itself alright so we have also the page four itself and then we come to this page five now what this actually lab five actually means is (uh) if you look at this page you only have a small little form alright on the top and the bottom alright and you can see that it actually mention that they are using the same web boot source code the only different is actually they are using a different version of the jquery (uh) well let's take a look at how this one work so over here you have the jquery but it's a one point one zero alright and if I click this go alright button over here the first thing you will notice is you will notice this X_S_S (uh) cross site scripting alert and if I click ok alright you will see that it is actually running the jquery alright you can see this one up here it will be easier to see up here alright you can see it's running the jquery one point one alright okay so basically it does allow a X_S_S attack to occur now if I go down to over here alright it's the same code remember alright and but this one uses a jquery one point twelve okay so I'll do the same I'll just click this particular go button over here and immediately okay let me try to move this over here so you can see is that you are using the newer jquery which is one point one two (uh) an updated version and you do not see the X_S_S alert anymore alright so what they are trying to imply here alright or try to get you to understand here is basically you may use the same code but the problem may lies actually inside the programming language or the APIs or even the component that you're actually using that's why it has a name called vulnerable component so try to always understand that you if you are using an older version of a patch or an API or an interface alright it is possible that you are more vulnerable because they could be some vulnerable component that the later version would have patched but because you have not updated alright so you could be still using to those vulnerable component and your actual web application is open to attack alright so (uh) always keep in touch with all your other programmers or your certs alright (uh) and understand what are the new risk and what are the new version that you probably need to update